Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the Maker Crate and I'm very, very excited to open this up and to do a craft. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you unboxings, which is what we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into this crate. Okay, so I'm really excited because originally I wasn't gonna get a Maker Crate for May because my shipping was all messed up and then this one was out of stock but then it miraculously shipped. So now I have to do lots of crafting. So I'm gonna have to try to see if I can get all these things done. But this one is paper mache pinatas. So play with shape and color to create party perfect pinatas. And so my kids are gonna love this. They always want pinatas for their birthday and I'm always like, nee. <laughs> I'm such a nice mom. So they're gonna they're gonna think this is so great. Let me hold this up. This box has been through the ringer. I honestly don't know what happened to it, but it's like all bent all over the place. So that's our pinatas. So those look fun. <laughs> Little cactus looking things over here. Oh, this one. This looks cool, like a big disco ball. That one's super fun. So this has a bunch of ideas. Oh, ice cream cones, that's cool too. And then it has our instructions down here as far as the website you can go or you can just scan it to get it. But that looks super fun. So there's a bunch of ideas in here. I'm not great at coming up with my own ideas. I'm really good at copying other people's ideas though. And then we have this little container probably for our paper mache to go in. It's kind of taped down, but it has some string in it. It has balloons. It has some long skinny balloons. My husband will probably be blowing up all the balloons. I hate blowing up balloons and I'm not very good at it. I feel like as a child, I was a lot better. I just must have no lung capacity. You'd think I would because I work out all the time, but not for blowing up balloons, I don't. And then there's a little push pin in here. There's a popsicle stick. So there's a few things in there. Oh, maybe we just get to use this. <laughs> Save my lungs. Here we go. <laughs> so that's fun. So we get our little blower upper thing. Sorry if you can hear my kids. They're like running all over the place and it's almost lunchtime. So they just might be loud in the background. And then we have these little toilet paper looking things. This up there thicker than the toilet paper. And then tons of tissue paper right here. Tons and tons of colors. So that will be fun. And then this looks like just the normal paper. So I wonder if, you know, we put this on first paper mache, the balloon, and then put that onto the tissue paper to decorate it. Decorate it. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> and then this is the gold. Maybe it's a silver too. Cause this one, this one's calling my name. I'm not like a shiny glittery person, but that looks super fun. So maybe we'll do that. Lots and lots of white glue. We're gonna need that stuff. And this says fringe scissors. So I don't know what fringe scissors look, scissors, scissors <laughs> look like. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> you can't even see them. Look at that, look at those scissors. Those are cool. I feel like I've seen these before, but I don't know, I'm fascinated. This is super fun. So they're like 500 scissors all in one. I don't think there's anything else, just foam in there. And then, sorry, there's people working in our basement as well as my kids. And outside there's people doing construction. So there's a lot of noise going on today, but I had to film today. So sorry, we just get a lot of noise. And then a paintbrush to put all of the glue on. And then this must be just decorations to add. I'm not really sure what all this is for, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then we have some mess mats right here. And then we have some bigger pieces of tissue paper. So I'm not sure what all of these are gonna be used for either. But there's a bunch of stuff in here. It looks like a lot of fun. I'll just have to find some time now to do this craft and the next one that's gonna be coming soon for July. Well, it's technically June, I guess. Anyway, so I'm gonna get to work on this and I will let you know how it goes.
Okay, so I finally finished the maker crate. I feel like this one took me forever. Like it came late and then I had so many other crates at the time and so <laughs> it just took a long time. And this craft does take a little bit longer. Making pin pinatas takes a little while. But anyways, I'm gonna show you the pinatas. I have some different comments to make about them and everything and then at the very end of this video, I will show us breaking them open. <laughs> so, cause I wanted to be able to show them to you before they were all broken. But here is one of them I made. This is a disco ball, basically. <laughs> I copied this one. <laughs> so I really like the look of this one. So here's that one, the disco ball right there. And I thought it turned out pretty well. I'm pretty impressed with myself. And these are already full of candy and some other like little toys and stuff like that that I just got at Walmart from like their party supply, but you could get them from a dollar store or wherever if you wanna do that. My kids have just, I'm not a big candy lover for to like have my kids eating tons of candy. And they had already had some candy from a pinata, so I didn't want them to have more. Anyways, so here it is. Here's that one. And then let me show you the other one. I originally was gonna make a little candy, like a little wrapped candy. I think maybe there's a picture in here of one. Yeah, so it's kind of somewhat similar to this, but then after I got all the paper mache done, I realized I didn't put these little ends on it, which allow you to put the tissue paper on the sides so that it will stick out. So since I forgot to do that, we made it into a pineapple and I still think it turned out pretty well. So this ball is smaller than this one. I made it a little bit smaller as you can tell them sitting up to next to each other. I think you have enough to make two big ones if you want, but I just figured it'd be good to try something else out and I was gonna make the candy. It comes with this pineapple topper. It's one of the suggestions they give you for decorating and then they also give you a bunch more right here. So this big one that's kind of like a triangle is for an ice cream cone like at the bottom. And then they have some other, I think these might be for like the cactus and stuff. So they have a lot of options for you to decorate if you wanna do it that way. And then I'll, they also have ones where you can make like the little dog and stuff. You wouldn't really stuff those, but those are with the really long skinny balloons. Let me see if I can find them like this. <laughs> and you have to like form them and that terrifies me. I hate balloons really, really bad. I don't like them popping or anything. So I'm probably gonna give these to my kids because they come with a pump in here for these balloons. If you're using the bigger, like normal balloons to make the pinatas I did, then you just blow them up yourself. But then these ones come with the pump and then my kids would probably have a lot of fun doing that. So just a few things. So these take a long time to dry, you know, cause you put three layers of paper mache on them. And so just plan for that. Like it's gonna take a while. And then you put the candy in them before you decorate them so that you can seal the spot where the candy is. So that's something else to think about. Like, oh, I gotta get my candy so that I can put it in before it's all decorated. And then you seal that hole up. And they give you two bottles of glue and you mix it with water to you know, do your paper mache. And I went through those two bottles, but I just used my own white glue and that was fine. I didn't have to use very much of my own white glue but it still worked out fine and maybe you will have more or if you add a little bit more water, <laughs> it will last longer. But I also made the balls and then it was like a week later before I stuffed them. So the glue probably would have dried out in that time anyways, so I needed to make more. So that's just kind of what I did. And then with decorating them, these scissors are a lot of fun, okay? And so if you can see, they have tons of blades on them so that you can make all these little lines like this, <laughs> right? So the, what do you call this, frilly stuff? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, but this one, so this is different obviously than your normal tissue paper. It's that more like slippery material. Sorry, I need a drink. I'm gonna start coughing. So it's like that slippery material and it also comes with gold right here. <coughs> excuse me, this, I thought there wasn't very many pieces of it because when you look at it and start taking it apart, I was like, there's like none here, but they're stuck together. So you can just pinch them and kind of rub them apart. And there are a ton here. I think I still had barely enough to cover this guy. 
I might have had one little strip left. But there are enough pieces here. You just have to rub them apart because this stuff sticks together. Whereas all these other strips of tissue paper are pretty easy to take apart. And this is a lot easier to cut with these scissors than the slippery stuff. <laughs> and so at first I was having a hard time because I didn't know they were stuck together and I'm trying to cut through several layers. So those ones aren't as easy to cut and just because of the texture of the paper. And then there's also so much tissue paper in here that you can use for decorating your pinata. They have several colors in here. I didn't use any of this. I would have if I had made the candy and stuff. So you can keep this and use this for other homeschool activities. Okay, so another thing I wanted to mention is that they suggest putting this in a cup when you start making all of your paper mache. And I actually like putting in a bowl. I just have plastic bowls. I just feel like it's more stable because a cup is so narrow and when you're pushing on it, you have to be a lot more careful. So I feel like the bowl is easier. You just have to make sure you move it enough as it dries so that it's not sticking <laughs> to your bowl. So that would be one thing I'd recommend is just putting it in a bowl. And then also getting used to putting all of this frill on is kind of hard at first. It takes a little bit of practice. So this one I made second and it was a lot easier for me to put it all on. So just be patient with it because it is a little bit tricky. But then once I figured it out, it wasn't so bad and I just, I watched the Olympics <laughs> while I sat there and did all this. And then I don't know if there was anything else I was gonna say about this. I feel like all in all, it turned out pretty well. I'm pretty impressed with myself for what I was able to do. It, like I said, it was a longer project. There's just a lot of drying time involved and then you decorate them. So it is a project that can last a really long time, but then it's a lot of fun as well because then you can break it open or your kids can break it open and then maybe you'll find a talent that you have for making pinatas, I don't know. But I'm gonna let my kids break these open because they're very, very excited and we'll put that at the end of this video. But if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. <laughs>